Hello? Oh, hey, how are you? Well, actually, I'm exhausted. I was up all night helping Nick with his science project. I swear, I do not remember seventh grade being this difficult, do you? <laughs> so, of course, we got up late, and we're rushing around the house, trying to get ready for school, and I'm backing down the driveway, and who comes down the road but Mary Vance? I am four houses down, and she's there like a shot. And she's going on and on about how, you know, hadn't I done this once before in 2003? I know, I know, and she's always impeccably dressed and made up, and it's like Mary Vance, neighborhood gossip, ready and waiting. Yeah, I could do lunch. Uh, well, well, no, wait, you know what? I could, yeah. No, Nikki has jazz club after school today, so I don't have to pick him up till four. Oh, oh no, it was just the car next to me. Yeah, I could do that, one o'clock. All right, I'll see you there. startled me. I have an appointment with Mrs. Weiss. Come in. I know I'm late, but the traffic was horrific. Uh, uh, Stephen Todd, rare and collectible. I spoke with Mrs. Weiss yesterday about some new pieces and... Is she home? I'm her nephew, Jake. Ah, oh, pleasure. Come in. You know, unfortunately, my aunt is taking a nap. She had a terrible headache all day. She uh, never mentioned your appointment. Oh, well, I'm so sorry. 
Uh, I could come some other time. She shouldn't be too much longer. Have a seat. Thanks. What's in the case? Diamonds. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, actually, I deal in coins. I'm going to get my aunt. Margaret. Finish your homework last night? Finish my homework at school, Mom. To call it two minutes. You were up late. It's on the internet for a while. Spending an awful lot of time on the internet lately. So? So I just think you should be careful. I am. Oh, you know what? Uh, there's a message from Paul on the machine. You should really call him back, Nick. You were such good friends. And... Okay. Are you making any new friends? You mean other than the pedophiles I'm meeting on the internet? I'll get my backpack. Okay. Do that. This is a no smoking room. Do you ever not talk? You're a crab. Huh? Maybe I should. Maybe I should just go back to Vegas. It's not like you want me around anymore. Fine. You go back to Vegas. What kind of idiot leaves all his stuff in the car? <clears throat> you know, this guy He's gonna report his car missing. We're gonna have the cops looking for us. Dear Stephen, I couldn't resist. I picked up those two pre-Civil War coins. They ended up costing half a million, but I think you will agree they are worth it. I have them at the house. You can see them this weekend. See you Saturday, Uncle Marvin. Let me see that. No, no, the envelope. This is our retirement, baby. Dynamic Realty. I'll put you right through. No, but I, I, I sent you that. Yeah, well, well, it should be there in a few days. If you just... No, I know, but then it's going to cost me more money to have the internet service turned back on, so why don't... All right, yeah, yeah, I understand. Bye-bye. 
Maybe we should do personal business from home. Oh, um, I have a few minutes, so... Val, you've been here for two months and you've yet to list a house. I know it is difficult to go from being just a housewife to a professional, but you've got to get over what happened. I know that you're grieving. Don't. Don't. Anyway, I got a call. 475 Wildwood wants to talk to you about his house. That's your old neighborhood, isn't it? Well, it's, anyway, it's a great house. The commission could go as high as 60,000. It's a friend of yours, I assume? Uh, no, I, I knew his wife. Look, Val, this is an amazing opportunity and one that I would hate for you to miss. If you want, I could rearrange my schedule and go out there with you. Well, I, I think I can handle it, Charlie. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, just trying to help. Yeah, well, thanks very much. I appreciate that. Anytime. Do it tomorrow. Look, I'm sorry. No, I'm gonna have to get back to you. I gotta meet somebody. All right, right. I am so sorry. I'm oh, late. That's fine. Marvin Dolan, pleasure to meet you. Val Spencer, nice to meet you. I've. Uh, please come in. Thank you. What a beautiful house. Thank you. Right this way. This is a lovely room. Yeah, my wife did that. Hey, can I get you anything to drink? Ah, uh, yes, a glass of water would be nice. You have to pardon the mess. Oh, no. Uh, thank you for calling me. Who, uh, who referred you to me? I ran into Mary Vance. Oh. Said she was a friend of yours. Then again, uh, Mary thinks everyone's a friend of hers. Yeah. Well, maybe I should uh, just give you the tour, huh? Uh, that'd be great. Thank you for the water. Uh, this is... Uh, it was obviously the kitchen. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there was a basement over here. I uh, converted it into a wine cellar. Oh, come on. Oh. Watch your step. Oh, thank you. You're a real connoisseur. No, not really. Just a pack rat. I can't drink anymore. I have diabetes. Doesn't stop me from buying. <laughs> Drove my wife crazy. I was so sorry to hear about Mrs. Dolan. Thank you. Well, shall we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Nice. Thanks, dude. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, give it back. No. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful room. It's been my refuge. Uh, that just means I was in the service too long. Hmm. Oh, you play chess? Yeah. Uh huh. You know, my son plays chess on the computer, but still, yeah. How's Nick holding up? He's. You know my son? Helen always spoke very highly of him. He's <gasps> one of her favorite students at Skilling. 
know what it's like, Val, to lose someone. I'm sorry. I'd like to start showing the house as soon as possible. My nephew's coming up this weekend to help me go through things. He spent a lot of summers here. His house is like a second home to him. Well, that'll be nice. I, um, I have some paperwork. If, uh, if you'd like to fill it out, you know, just, uh, I mean, that is if you're gonna list the house for this, of course. I mean, just do it at your earliest convenience and you can always just fax it to me if you want. Uh, I can just do it right now. Thank you. you so long. I hate being in this car. What if a cop sees us? Don't worry about it. How much did you get? You know what? There's plenty more where that came from, huh? Yeah. Says you transferred here a couple of months ago. Skilling Preparatory. It's a good school. Yeah. 4.0 GPA, Model UN, debate team, orchestra. You know, this is not the kind of guy who starts fights. Wanna tell me what happened out there? Nick, you could be suspended for this. I'm gonna have to talk to your parents. Parent. It's parent. Val Spencer. Oh, uh, yeah, that literally just came on the market. Uh-huh. Well, what time were you thinking? Hello. General Dolan, it's Val Spencer. Hello, Valerie. Uh, listen, I just got a call. Someone wants to see your house. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, here's the thing. They're only in town for a couple of days, so they'd like to see it right away. Would 2 o'clock today be okay? Gee, that only gives me an hour to do all those dishes. Yeah, it'd be fine. All right, great. Um, I'll see you later. All right, bye. Hi. Hello. My wife and I were driving by. We couldn't help but notice a for sale sign. I didn't mean to bother you, but we were wondering if we uh, might take a quick peek inside. We'll just be a second, I promise. Yeah, sure. Marvin Dolan. Oh. Mark Weiss. This is my wife, Margaret. Thank you. 
welcome. Sure. Please, come on in. It's a beautiful home. Thank you. It's really nice. I have it at one, two, three, four, Welton Way. No, three bedrooms, and there's a fireplace. I think there's a bay window in the master suite. I can find out. I can have that information for you by 3 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Deal. I'll get back to you by 3.30. Good thing. Bye now. Hey, Della, could you help hey. me out with something? What can I do for you? What do you want from my life? Oh, ah, uh, well, I, I just listed my first house. Oh, congratulations. Good for you. Thank you. And the seller wants to move really quickly, so I thought I would post some photos on our website, but I don't have a digital camera. Don't and say another word. I just need it back by closing because I have a new listing in the morning. That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Uh-huh. Yes, this is she. Well, is he okay? Okay, yeah, I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. This is the library. Oh, are, are you in the army? I was. I'm retired. What were you? I was a major general. Wow, you don't hear that every day. Oh, well, that's pretty. What is that? That's so beautiful. What's that for? Where'd you get that? I'm sorry? The ring. Where'd you get the ring? The ring's been in my family for generations. I gave it to my nephew. Don't. Don't. Sit down. Go sit down. Sit down. You make me do something you won't live to regret. Where's Stephen? What have you done with Stephen? Don't worry about your nephew. What I want to know is where are the coins? Oh my God, Jake! What are you doing? Shut up! You've caused enough trouble today. Is he dead? Just go get some tape. But is he dead? Just go get some damn tape! Upstairs to get a, a dish rag or a washcloth or something. Your nephew. Your nephew is an alcoholic who talks too much. I think he was a little sweet on me, because he told me all about your coin collection over a friendly game of cards. See, that's where I won the ring. I'm a thief, Mr. Dolan, not a murderer. But you know what? There's always a first time. Now, where are the coins? Where's my nephew? What is that? I'm a diabetic. It's time for my insulin. It's perfect. OK. You tell me where the coins are, you can have your insulin. Okay. All right, General. My little General. You know what? I'm going to leave you alone for a bit. Give you some time to think. Jake, I think we should give him his insulin. I'm serious. I, I, I think we could, we could threaten not to give it to him or, you know, gives us like a, a combination. Angie, 
Angie, he was a POW. I could blow his kneecaps off, he's not gonna talk. The insulin is the only bargaining tool that we have. But what if he dies? What? What? Let's just start upstairs. You know what you're looking for, right? That's my girl. You really hurt that kid. You could have broken his nose. I was aiming for his throat. What? Dad said when... What did your dad say? Nothing. No, tell me. Tell me. He said that if somebody attacks you, the best place to hit him is in their throat. Did that boy attack you? This isn't like you. How would you know? I have a meeting with your counselor in the morning. He's not my counselor. Where are we going? I have to show house. <clears throat> Perfect. I want you to come in with me. Oh, come on. Hi. Hey well, I hope there. I've been waiting too long. Oh no, just got here. I'm Bill Spencer. My son Nick. Pleased to meet you. Why don't we just go oh. ahead? Came to check on you. <laughs> Should we get that? Um, well, you know, he knew that we were coming. He's probably just been tied up and got the key, so. Okay. Say, be here. Uh, General Dolan? Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, look at the beams in this. Seat. Oh, there's the kitchen. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's the kitchen. Look at that stove. Yeah, I th and this view. Excuse me. Oh. Can I help you? I'm so sorry. I'm Val Spencer with Dynamic Realty. We have an appointment with General Dolan to see the house. Yeah, my uncle's not here right now. Oh, you're his nephew. Yes, he mentioned that you would be coming. Stephen Todd, and this is my wife, Angie. Nice to meet you. Um, this is Sally Emerson and my son, Nick. I, I just saw your uncle this morning, and we arranged to meet. It was, it was last minute, so... Well, unfortunately, Marvin's sister has taken a turn for the worse. Oh. He's going to be with her in Santa Barbara. Oh, well, it'll just take two minutes. I'm so I'm sorry that... Well, uh, could you call your uncle? Do you have a cell phone number? I guess we could call. No, well, you had I... an appointment, that's fine. Angie, honey, do you think you could show the ladies around the house? Good, so I would prefer if you could keep yourselves to the downstairs. My uncle left in a real hurry this morning and I'd rather not have anyone going through the upstairs bedroom if that's okay. No, of course, of course. Well, off you go. Okay. Honey, honey, there you go. Okay. Yeah, that's the way. Okay, uh, thank you. Sure. So, uh, this is the library. Hey, hey, get a phone on you, old man, huh? Do you?
He's a general. Uh, yeah. I bet he knows my uncle. In fact, my whole family was in one war or another. It's funny, going all the way back to General Washington himself. My cousin Steve did two different tours of duty in Vietnam, and then my cousin John... Oh, um... I'm, I'm sorry, I... I got, I got it, I got it. No, 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 don't worry about it. I'm so sorry, it's okay. I'm so sorry. That's okay, let me get it. Uh, did... Did, uh, did General Dolan say when he was coming back? I don't know. He didn't say anything to me. Um, you could ask... my husband. Okay. Well, this is one beautiful house. I would just love it if my husband could come take a look. Uh, the Emersons are going back to Atlanta tomorrow afternoon. So. Just take two minutes, I promise. No, I don't have a problem with that, but why don't you call in the morning? That way I can see what my uncle's doing. We may not even be here. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much. And, and please tell your uncle how sorry I am about his sister. I will. Oh, you know what? Uh, I almost forgot something. There's, um, there's a wine cellar here, a, a very nice one. Um, is there a key? I'm sure there is, but I have no idea where it is. And my uncle was very private about his cellar. He didn't like people going down there. Well, he showed it to me this morning. Well, he must have really taken a liking to you. Um, all right, uh, well, I'll just, I'll plan on speaking with you later. Okay. Angie, honey, can you show the ladies out? He never saw it coming, did he? And no fair fight in you, you coward. My nephew didn't play cards. Friend killed him. He took that ring you like so much. And your baby. I want you to go upstairs, okay? I think we need to give him some water. I want you to go upstairs. Sweetie, I really think we need to give him some water. Everything's okay. I want you to go upstairs, okay? <laughs> you like my little girlfriend, huh? Of course you do. What's not to like? Yeah. She's a honey, that one, isn't she? I thank my lucky stars every day for her. I don't think I could live with myself if something happened to her. How about you? You think you could live with yourself if something bad happened to her? I'll come back for your answer.
You got ten minutes, old man. You know, if I can sell this house, we'll we'll be okay. I mean, I can uh, pay off some bills, and I don't know, maybe we can splurge and get cable or something. Maybe we can even send you back to Skilling in the fall. Maybe. Oh, damn it, I forgot to take pictures. Do you have your key? Always. All right, go do your homework, and I'll, uh, I'll pick up dinner on the way home, okay? Okay. Okay. What are you doing? I thought you were supposed to be upstairs looking. I, th I think maybe that realtor lady saw something. Really? There was blood all over the floor where he hit his head. Did she say anything? No. I covered it pretty quick. Safe. I want to get him some water. I need to get him some water. Damn it. We need to get his medicine. He could die. Mr. Dolan, hey, Mr. Dolan, can you tell me where your medication is? The library, the asthma. <laughs> There's no insulin. I dropped it. Well, his pharmacy's on third. Go get some. What are you doing here? No, I thought we agreed to talk in the morning. I know that we did, and I'm really sorry to bother you again, but um, 
Well, your uncle said he wanted to sell the house fairly quickly, so I thought I would get some photos for our webpage. Well, maybe we could do this tomorrow. Would it be okay if I just took some quick shots of the exterior? It would only take a second. Hi. Great. I'll be, I'll be really quick. I, I'm sorry to bother you again. Can I help you? Um, I have a little problem. Well, hopefully I can help you out with that. Uh, it's not me. It's um, my uncle, actually. I need to pick up his medication, but I don't... I don't have his prescription with me. Is he on file with us? I believe so. Hmm, what's his name, please? Marvin Dolan. Oh. I didn't know Marvin had a niece. Oh, it's not me. It's my husband, actually. I'm... He's his nephew, I mean. You mean Stephen? Yeah. That's, uh... Great. Thanks. Are you referring to Marvin's diabetes? Uh-huh. You do not need a prescription for insulin anymore. Great. Okay. Got what you need? Uh, yeah. We'll talk tomorrow, I suppose. All right, great. Um, well, thanks again. Okay. I think he's in a coma. We should bring him upstairs. No. Let's go. Come on. Angie, come on. Okay. I'm so That's okay. Wesley sorry. picked up the girls. Oh, God. I, I, let me just download these and I'll, okay. I'll go quickly. Thanks again for waiting, Della. Well, it's no problem. As long as you got what you need. Oh, nice house. What's it listing for? 1.5. Ooh, 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 nice commission. You about done? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are very welcome, and congratulations again. Thanks. Good night. Good night. What did he mean his nephew wasn't a card player? I don't know. Why would he say that? It doesn't make sense. Can you just give it a rest, please? General Dolan, this is Val Spencer, your realtor. 
please give me a call, 555-0121. Thank you. No, no, don't transfer me. Don't transfer me, okay? I've been on hold for an hour, man. Wait, not up to date? Well, then why would it be working fine this morning? I mean, there's gotta be a mistake. Hey, sweetie, sorry I'm late. What, did you eat? I forgot to stop, I got so busy. Backpack's in the car. What happened to our internet service? What? I tried getting online and it said we have no access. Oh, uh, yeah, there was uh, some sort of error. The cable company said that they didn't receive my yeah, payment. Yeah, right. What? Nick! No, it's the one thing I like to do. The one thing! You know, you were always on me about it. So what do you do? I mean, you don't talk to me about it. No, no, you just stopped paying for it. You did it on purpose. That's not true. Yes, you did. You don't want me to have anything. That is not true. What is the matter yes, it with is. you? You know, I, I can't stay at my old school. I can't see my old friends. We, we, we live in this, this box. Stop it, okay? Why can't we stay in our old house, huh? Huh, why? Nick. I want to know. We could have stayed at our house. He had life insurance. I know we did. No, we couldn't. Have. You got insurance, buddy. Nicholas. <laughs> you did. Stop it we right now. We could have stayed at our house. No, we couldn't Why? have. Why? We could not have stayed Why? at our house. Because they don't give you money when someone commits suicide. Okay. I, uh, I'm sorry. Just leave me alone. No. Sweetie, Go. I'm sorry. Go. I, Go. See you later, Mom. Hey, Johnny. Got your homework.
Spencer? Come on in. Did you know that your son is failing history and geometry? No. It's also had a lot of absences. I didn't know that. I got the impression from Nick that his father is not in the picture. Uh, no, Nick's father <clears throat> is deceased. I'm sorry. Must be very hard for you, raising a child alone. Well, it's been difficult for both of us. How long ago did his father die? <clears throat> Excuse me. You okay? I'm fine. Thank you. Nick's father died, um, eight months ago. <clears throat> um, may I ask how he died? If you'd rather not. No, no. <clears throat> Nick's father committed suicide. It's a lot for a kid to handle. Is he talking to anyone? Um, I, I took him to a therapist for a couple of months, but she wanted to put Nick on medication. I couldn't do that. Why? His father had been on antidepressants, and I always thought that maybe that had something to do with his death, so. Is Nick still in therapy? No, 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 I am. Um, I can't afford it, so. Does he talk to you about what happened? We don't seem to be able to talk about much of anything. Has it always been that way? No, 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 we, um, we were always very close, actually. I was, uh, I was very involved with his school, PTA, sports, everything. And so Scott, that's Nick's father. He was, he was very close to his father. He just, uh, they did everything together. He loved that boy. It's funny, you know. You never see something like that coming. For months after it happened, I... I couldn't sleep. My mind kept searching for that little piece that would somehow make it all fit. But now it's also clear, you know, all, all those warning signs, all those little pieces. Always, always here, always in my head. But then it was happening in front of me, and I saw none of it. Sort of like now, I suppose, my son. I, Nick has study hall in sixth period. With your permission, I'd like to broach the subject with him. Um, okay, that would be great. I'm sorry. It's okay. Bell Spencer. Uh, you know what? He hasn't called me back yet, Sally. I was just about to try again. Yeah, I will. All right, bye-bye. Hi, Mr. Todd. This is Val Spencer with Dynamic Realty. Uh, 
Could you please call me back on my cell? It's 555-0121. All right. Thank you very much. Mary, how are you? I'm fine. We miss you guys. Well, we miss you too. How's Nick? Where are you living now? Um, uh, we're over off of Anita Street. By the old Sears? Oh, the people who bought it are very nice. He's in insurance, I think. And I can't no, think no, really sure. I have a, a job. time crunch. I have an appointment I have to make. Oh, I'll let you go then. Okay. Oh, did Marvin Dolan call you? Yes, he did. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm in the neighborhood. He hired me. Thank oh. you so much, Mary. <laughs> Don't mention it. Boy, he's had a tough time, too. He's oh. a nice old guy, isn't he? Yeah. I, I'm, I mean, I only met him the once. I've been dealing with his nephew. Stephen? He's here? Yeah. Yeah, General Dolan was called away. His sister's ill. Stephen's mom? No, no, uh, the other sister. But Marvin only has one sister. Well, no, I, I'm pretty sure Mr. Todd said it was his sister, so... Well, I guess he ought to know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he just had the one sister. Anyway, you want to come in for a cup of coffee? No, you know what, I can't. I really do have Aww. to get going, but uh, thank you again. Okay, okay. Well, good to see good you. Good to see you, too. Thanks a I lot. I hope everything works out. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Spencer, haven't seen you in a while. No, no, we, um, we moved. Um, I need a um, refill. Of course. Hello? Oh, Sally, I am so sorry. Um, no, I left another message at the Dolan house, but... No, the nephew never gave me his cell number and... Yeah, yeah, I do have your number in Atlanta, but I I'm gonna keep trying, okay? Hmm? All right, well, yeah, have a great flight. All right, bye-bye. You're selling the Dolan house? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> His nephew's wife was in here yesterday. Not quite sure what that gal is doing hanging out with him. I mean, he's a nice guy and everything, but uh, well, you've met Stephen? Yeah, I have. Well, he's not what you might call the marrying type. Unless, of course, his wife's name is Bob, if you get my drift. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be all for today? What did she buy? I beg your pardon? His wife. What did she buy? Oh, uh, Marv needed some more insulin. He's in the house. General Marvin Dolan, 475 Wildwood Road. The man says that he's his nephew, but there are all these things that make me think that he is lying. I mean, first of all, General Dolan is called away suddenly to see a sister whom I, I don't believe exists. He doesn't take his medication, but he's a diabetic. And, and, and now I find out that the nephew is gay. It... No, no, I don't think it's a hate crime. It's... I'm his realtor, but, but no, look, I know this sounds crazy, but no, I don't want to fill out a missing persons report. I think he's still in the house. That's the best you can do. Fine. All right, fine. Thank you. General Dolan, he locked the door, but I found your keys. I brought you some orange juice. I heard it was good for diabetics. You're in danger. No. No, he's... He's not like that. Why don't you just give us the combination to the safe and we'll be out of here? Please, I promise I won't let him hurt you again. What's a girl like you doing with him? Where's your family? I'm a foster kid. Jake's the only family I've ever known. God damn it! <gasps> oh, shit. Angie. Oh, I got orange juice all over me. He's gonna kill you. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Angie. No. Oh, 
Hello? Uh, 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 yes, uh, Val Spencer told me Stephen Todd was here. I'm Stephen Todd. Look, if you want to see the house, you have to go through Miss Spencer, okay? Sorry to bother you. Sheriff's Department, how may I direct you? Hello? Oh. Hello? Angie?
are you doing? What? Get out! Come on! Get out! Now! Off! you do? Jake, what happened? Uh, excuse what me, happened? Ma no, no, I'm a friend. What happened? Back, Is that the detective in charge? Uh, yeah, ma'am. Excuse me. Back. Please, no, please lady, look. It's very, it's very important that I talk to you. What's going on? Please. It's all right. Let her go. How can I help you? I'm a realtor. I have been working with General Marvin Dolan down the street. Now, yesterday, Mr. Dolan disappeared, and a man who claims to be his nephew is staying at well, the house. What, what, what do you mean, disappeared? Well, the nephew, or the man pretending to be the nephew, said that there was a family emergency, but I started noticing all of these strange things around the house. I mean, General Dolan's car is still in the garage, and, and he's a diabetic, but I found his insulin kit in the, on the bathroom counter, and, and I found blood on the floor in the library. How do you know all this? Well, I was showing the house. See, so you think this guy broke in, did something violent to the owner, but decided it was still okay no, for the realtor to No, look, I know that this sounds house. crazy, please. Uh, and what has this all got to do with Mrs. Vance? She knows the nephew. I spoke with her not more than two hours ago and told her that he was at the house. I mean, she would know if he was an imposter, right? I know, maybe she went there. I, I don't know, but something has happened. Translator will be here in 15 minutes. Look, this will just take you two minutes. Look, please, I'm, I'm right please, in the middle. Please, please, what if I'm right, okay? What if I'm right? Please. Let me know when he gets here. All right, where's the house? I'll show you. What happened to Mary? Gardner heard her scream, found her at the bottom of the basement stairs, neck broken. Oh my God. One of the bodies was identified as Margaret Weiss, who appears to have been strangled to death. Mark Weiss, this is my wife, Margaret. Police have not identified the male victim as of this morning. Both were found floating in the water just off Cedar Point. Investigation underway. We'll keep you posted. Doesn't look like we'll need your buddy's combination after all. So what are we going to do with him? I mean, we're not going to hurt him or anything, right? Jake. What did you think, huh? Did you think we were just going to come in here and con him into giving us the coins and then leave? Just drive away? You didn't think that maybe he could ID us? Come on. I didn't think. I know you didn't think. That's the problem. You don't think. You know what? Doesn't matter. An hour from now, we'll be out of here. Don't you make yourself scarce and you don't come out until whoever this is leaves.
Mr. Todd? Yes. I'm Detective Sosa, Sheriff's Department. What can I do for you? Well, we've had some break-ins in the area, and uh, Miss Spencer expressed some concern about your uncle. Well, that's very thoughtful of her, but my uncle hasn't returned yet. Where is your uncle? As I told Miss Spencer, my uncle's visiting his sister in Santa Barbara. She's not been well. I see. Uh, may I see some identification? Sure. Come on in. Oh, you know what? It's in my jacket in the kitchen. Excuse me. Can you take it out? Thank you. Newport Beach. That's a beautiful area. It is. Is your business based in Newport, too? Actually, turbine. Hmm. Here you go. Antiques. Hmm. You mind if I have a look around? Sure. Can I start over here? Absolutely. Sosa. Yeah? Change of plan. We're gonna meet it back at the station. Okay, meet me out front. 475. He calls. Okie dokie. Take care. You too. No, 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 no. Wait, wait ask him to open the garage, please. Uh, ask him to open on, the garage. Lady. Please, please, it'll just take a second. Just ask him, please. You mind opening up the garage door? I'm sorry? The garage door. You want to open it, please? Sure. No problem. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry for the disturbance. Look, he moved it. There's nothing going on in that house. He was fine with me looking around. His ID looks good. Look, he even gave me his business card. I called on cell phone when you were in the house. Did you hear it? No. Now, I'm sorry, but... That is not Stephen Todd. You've got to believe me. I'll run his name, all right? If anything comes up, I'll follow him. It's the best I can do. Where is it? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you looking for? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Right here. Bitch. You know what? Huh? No, no, no. No, no, no. If you shoot him, the cops, they'll, they'll, they'll hear the gun. And what if the coins aren't there? Then what? What do we do then? What do we do? Right? Let's just wait and we'll see. Rare and collectible. Yes, I need to speak to someone about one of your employees. 
Uh, what about them? Well, I work at a gallery in Los Angeles, and we need to verify that one of your employees is who he says he is. We don't sell to galleries. Exactly. Uh, we've had a lot of fraud recently, and we think that this man may be trying to assume one of your sales reps' identities, pass us some worthless pieces. Could you describe a man named Stephen Todd? No. Why not? Oh, I'm, I'm new, and nobody else is here right now. Besides, our sales reps don't come into the office every day. <laughs> Okay, great. I'm gonna send you a picture of the gentleman that we're dealing with. And if you could show it to one of your co-workers, maybe they could tell us if it's Stephen Todd. Do you have an email address? Um, Irma at rareandco.com. That's E-R as in rabbit. Val Spencer? Val, it's Jim Whitfield from Nick's school. Everything okay? No, um, Nick isn't here. I went to talk to him and his teachers haven't seen him since first period. Oh. Okay, uh, thank you. What are you doing? Hanging out. You stay away from him, you understand? Yeah. I'll be back in a few minutes. Don't answer the door. Mr. Dolan, we have to get out of here. We have to get out of here. He's going to be back in a minute. Come on in. Call the police. I can't Call go. the police. I can't do that. Spencer, uh, this is Irma at Rare and Co. Um, I did have Mr. Carlisle look at the photo, and he says it's definitely not Stephen Todd. Detective Sosa's office, please. This is Detective Sosa. I'm out in the field right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Miss Spencer. Who is this? This is General Dolan's nephew. You're not his nephew. They're incredibly persistent, I'll give you that. Almost makes me wish I had a house to sell. I just got off the phone with Rare and Collectible. I sent them your photo, guess what? You're not Stephen Todd. Well, <laughs> aren't you just full of surprises? You know what? I got one for you. Hey, where are you going, Nick? I'm going home. Nick? Hang on a second. Yeah, I gotta go now. No. 
Needless to say, don't do anything stupid. No. Hey, Nick. I met your mom on the phone. She's been looking for you. You better talk to her. Get in the car. You seem like a smart kid. Get in the car. Get in the car. Sosa. Remember that name you gave me to run, Stephen Todd? Yeah? Just got a call from the Newport PD. They got a body. Looks like the guy you were looking for. Damn it. Angie? Angie! What the hell are you doing? This has to stop. Come on, baby. Put the gun down. What are you gonna do? Baby, put the gun down. Are you gonna kill the kid? You're gonna kill Mr. Dolan. You were gonna kill me too, weren't you? No, baby. Weren't you? No, I'm not gonna kill anybody. You're a liar. Baby, just put the gun down. I did this for you. I did this for us. Don't do this. We're so close. We just take the coins, we tie them up, and then we get the hell out of here. Just the two of us. That's my girl. You just put the gun down. That's my girl. Put the gun down. Don't! mother you are huh the last thing you're gonna see is your little man's brain splattered all over this room is that what you want mom I'll never leave you. 